We're going to do fusion legs today. So go ahead and grab a light set of weights, either half kilogram to two kilograms, up to you. And I like to have a set of yoga blocks. I'll give you options to modify as we go through. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Take your feet wide, bend the knees. Let's just get the legs a little bit warm. Push into your heels, punch and reach forward. Punch and reach. Navel to spine. So we have six exercises. We're gonna do two minutes each, all on one leg. Then we'll take a little break and we'll do the six exercises all on the other side. Okay, let's cross punch, reach. Push into your heels, relax your toes. Navel to spine. Good, down, up, down, up, bend. Try to relax those toes. Sit low. Navel in. Good, now let's punch it out. Reach. Belly in. Root into those heels. Extend. Bring it forward. Pulse. Stay here or add a hop. Reach. Good. Down, up. So you don't have to hop. You can just pulse. Breathe. Lift. Good. Take the arms wide. Circles. Pulse. We have 10 seconds. Now we start the first leg exercise switch. Reverse the direction. Good. All right. Curtsy back. So you're going to start with your right leg. Curtsy back. Go down. Lift top. Down. Lift top. I'm just turning to the side so you can see. Front toe is turned out. Navels to spine. You don't want to hop. That's fine. Just lift. You don't have to go all the way down either. You can reach. Lift. Or curtsy. Lift. Squeeze the back leg. Curtsy. Lift. Or down. Lift. Hop. Navel to spine. Push into your front heel. Check the front knee isn't coming forward from the ankle on the curtsy. Throughout the class, if you need to take a break, shake it out, come back, go for it. Curtsy, keep the chest up, lift, squeeze the back leg, navel to spine. Down, lift, squeeze. Lift, squeeze. Check that front knee. You want to make sure it's not coming forward. Keep it back. The butt is shifting back. The chest is up. 15 seconds. Take your time. Good, now I'm gonna grab my blocks. Blocks is up to you, or you can keep those weights in your hands. And lift, curl, lift, curl, lift, curl, heel to glute. Now make sure your hands aren't all the way over here. They're right underneath the shoulders, and the weight is in the bottom heel. The bottom knee is bent. If the bent over situation is too much, you're here. Lift, curl, lift, curl. So we slightly lean it forward. 
but the back is straight. Lift, curl. No hops. If you don't want to, you can do every other hop if you want. But the weight is in the bottom heel. Navel to spine. Lift, curl. Lift, heel to glute. Chest up. Even if you're in the bent over position, try not to round your back. Try to lift up. And again, shake it out where you need to and come right back. <sighs> Belly in. Come on. Push into that bottom heel. Lift. Curl. Lift. Curl. Up. Bend. <sighs> Tap, lift. Tap, curl. 20 seconds left. Come on. Make sure the weight's in that bottom heel. Almost there. Three, two, one. Curtsy back, lunge back. A few options. You can use weights instead of blocks. When you come down, make sure your hands are in line with your heel. Cross for a curtsy. Go straight back for a lunge. Cross. Straight back. Lightly tap the knee if you can. Push into your front heel. Make sure your blocks and your hands aren't coming forward. The knee is too far forward. Shift the weight back. Again, you can do this standing. You can tap between. Tap, curtsy. Tap, lunge. Cross for the curtsy behind. Straight back for the lunge. Check that front knee. Belly in, chest up. And if you're in the bent over variation, try not to lift your hips too high. You wanna keep everything nice and compact. Hips stay about knee height. Belly in, push into your heel. Relax your toes on that front foot. So this one we do at every class. Breathe. Push into that heel. Long back. Every fusion class. Curtsy, cross behind. Straight back for a lunge. Lift the chest. Lift the belly. Dig into the heel, 15 seconds. Check your front knee doesn't go in front of the ankle, whether you're in the bent over or the standing variation. Good. Locks to the side if you have them. Grab your weights. We're gonna go straight back lunge. Lift, figure four. Straight back lunge, lift, Figure four, straight back lunge. That base leg is the same leg. Figure four, straight back lunge, lift, cross. Options, you stay high, lift, cross, tap, lunge, lift, figure four. Okay, otherwise, you're low, Lift up, hop, figure four. Check your front knee. This is about control and balance. Using those inner and outer thighs. Tap it where you need to. Hips and toes point forward. Check that front knee alignment. Chest up, butt down. Check that front knee.
control. Take your time. Five seconds left. Good. Next one, you're gonna go straight back lunge again. You're down and you're gonna lift. Down, lift. Now, we stay nice and compact. Another little hop. Option, regular straight back lunge. Stand up straight, lunge, floating curtsy. Lunge, floating curtsy. Hips and toes point forward for the lunge. Floating curtsy, that knee turns out. Otherwise, you're here, here. You keep it low. Belly in. Shake it out when you need to. Check that front knee in the lunge. More than halfway done with this one. We only have one more exercise after this for this side. Hips and toes point straight forward. Lunge, floating curtsy, low hop. Come on. Whoop. Lift. Shake it out when you need to. Two minutes is a lot of endurance and strength. 10 seconds. Good. Last one. We're gonna go down, but I'm gonna use my weights. You're gonna go down, tap, curl, hop, Bring it up, curl hop. Excuse me. Down, hop, curl hop. Curl hop, curl hop. Option, curl hop, or sorry, curl, wrap it in. One-legged squat, heel to glute in the back leg, wrap the shoulder blades. It's a good option. Otherwise, it's down, 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 up, sorry. Down, up. If you want to do the up version, you can just keep it curl hop or no hop. One legged, lift. Chest up, bend the bottom knee. After this, we're gonna take a little break. Curl hop, curl hop, curl hop, curl hop. Chest up, butt back. 20 seconds, come on. Bend that bottom knee, shift the weight into the bottom heel. Faster or slower than what I'm doing, it's up to you. Take it at your own pace. Do as many as you can with good form. And we're done. Little break. Before we hit the other side, 15 seconds. Here we go. Other side. So now your left leg is in front. Turn the toe out. Curtsy. Lift. Curtsy. Lift. Curtsy. So both toes and knees are turned out in your curtsies. Lift. Option. Curtsy. Lift, curtsy, lift. 
Okay. Otherwise, tap, lift up, tap, lift up. Curtsy. Front toe turn out, weight in your heel. And lift. Squeeze that back leg. Check your front knee doesn't go in front of the ankle. Belly in. Chest up. Shake it out when you need to. Only when you hear that bell is it the next exercise. Come on, 15 seconds. Front toe turned out. Good, I'm gonna grab my blocks. Again, you can do this standing with weights. You're gonna lift, hop, curl, hop. Lift, tap, curl, tap. Lift, curl. Lift, curl. You want to, you're here, up. Lift, curl. Whoops, sorry. Lift, curl. Straight leg lift, curl. You can add a hop, also standing. If you don't wanna bend over, it's fine. Chest up, butt back. Check that the weight's in your bottom heel and then you're not shifting too far forward. Okay, lift, curl, lift, curl. Lift, curl, belly in. Lift the chest. Deepen the breath. Tap, lift, hop. Tap, lift, curl, hop. Tap, lift. Tap, lift, curl. Oops, lift. And curl. Make sure the blocks aren't too far forward. Only right underneath the shoulders, 15 seconds to go. Come on. Lift, come on, I'm breathing and pushing with you. Lift, hop, curl, hop, five seconds. Good, we go into that curtsy back, lunge back. I'm gonna use the blocks. Front toe turned out, left leg. Still in that left leg. Hands in line with the heel. Not wider than shoulders width. Cross behind, tap the knee. Straight back lunge, tap. Cross, tap, straight back lunge, tap. Check your front knee in the lunge and the curtsy that is not forward. Pull the hips and the butt back. Option, standing. You can tap or you can go straight over. Cross behind for a curtsy, but keep your hips forward. Straight back lunge, curtsy. Straight back lunge, curtsy. Take it at your own pace. Pick up the belly. Navel to spine. Check that front knee alignment in your curtsy and your lunge. Don't let it go in front of the ankle. Right on top of that ankle when you go back. Either right on top of the ankle or slightly behind the ankle is fine. You want to dig into your front heel. Relax your toes. 
The more pressure you put into your toes and into the ball of your foot, the more you're gonna feel it in your knee. So press down into the front heel. Don't avoid it because that's where also the strength is gonna root down and come from. Into that front heel. You're gonna feel it all the way up the side and the back of the glute. Two seconds. Good. I'm gonna grab my weights again. Straight back lunge. Lift the leg. Figure four. Hips and toes point forward. Straight back lunge. Lift. Figure four. Straight back lunge. Lift, hop. Figure four, sit it low. Lunge, lift, cross. Option, the lunge high, lift, cross. Lunge, lift, tap, cross, tap. Okay, wherever you need to. Otherwise it's down, hop, cross it low. Lunge, hop, cross. Check here that the knee isn't coming forward. Keep it right on, butt, on top of the ankle. Navel to spine. Relax your bottom toes. Shake it out when you need to. Lunge, lift, cross, figure four. Lunge, lift, whoops, cross, figure four. Lunge, lift, hop, cross, figure four. Seven seconds to go. <laughs> This one we're moving slower. Good, next one. You're gonna go straight back lunge again. Keep it low, figure four, hop. Sorry, floating curtsy, not figure four. Floating curtsy, lunge, floating curtsy, lunge, floating curtsy. Or lunge, you don't have to go as deep. Stand up for the floating curtsy. Lunge, float, lunge, floating curtsy. So it's always good to start with the easier variations if you're new to these type of exercises. Build up your endurance slow and strength. <laughs> Even I have difficulty sometimes with these, but if I know they're difficult for me, then it's gonna be worth doing. Press, lift, try to keep it low. That one leg stays in a little squat. The front leg, shake it out when you need to. Straight back lunge, floating curtsy behind, hop. Or you could say kind of a coupe. Down, lift, hop, down, float, hop. Check the front knee and the, cur and the lunge. 20 seconds. Only one more exercise left. Come on. 15 seconds. Breathe, lift. Good. Last one. Curl, tap, hop. Bring it up, curl, hop. Down, curl, hop. Up, curl, hop. Down, curl, hop. Up, curl, hop. Again, you can stay up. Just do curls or curl, hop, regular. Curl, hop. Regular, up to you what you want to do. If you want to use the blocks, 
You come down, curl hop, up, curl hop. Down, curl hop, up. It's a little easier. Maybe better for back placement. Better if you have a little bump. Weight in the bottom heel. Make sure you're not coming down and you're forward and the heel's lifting. Keep the heel down the butt back. Curl hop, curl hop, curl hop, curl hop. Navel to spine, shake it out when you need to. Come right back. If your legs are burning and shaking, then you know you're doing it right. If you can't get the whole time done without taking little breaks, that's fine. That's where you start. You can't start at the top. Not just in exercise, but in life, right? So give yourself a break. Do what you can. Push yourself. <sighs> Five seconds. Great job. All right, take a little drink. Take a breath. Let's just do a little stretch here. Reach up. Lengthen and take it over. Inhale. Switching sides, lengthening. We do a lot of bent over position, so we want to make sure we stand back up. Reach. Good. Now this time, reach it over. Turn open the chest. Lift the ribs away from the hips. Lean back just a little and switch. Reach over, then twist the chest towards the ceiling. Lift the ribs, push down into the feet. Lean back with the upper back just slightly, the thumb back. Good release, inhale. Clasp your hands, extend. Exhale, turn your heels in, your toes out. Press the knees apart. Go a little side to side. Try to pull the pelvis forward, knees back. Turn your toes forward, come into a little side lunge. If you need to, you're up a little higher. If you can, your hands down or even further, keeping the heel on the floor, flip up the outer toe, keep the outer leg straight wherever you are, lift the chest. And switch. Again, you can start high, maybe you stay here. Make sure you're not rounding the back. Lift the chest, stick at the butt out or you drop lower, or even lower. Keeping the heel down, lifting those toes, lifting the chest. Breathe. Bring it in. Walk the feet a little in. Clasp your hands. Reach the arms over. Shift a little weight into the balls of your feet. Lift the kneecaps, press the feet down. Inhale, coming up halfway lift, take a breath. All the way up, inhale, stretch, step the feet together, lengthen. Take a quad, stretch, so grab the foot, use a wall if you need to. One hand or both, try to get the knees together, tuck the pelvis forward, wrap the shoulder blades back and switch, grab the other foot, knees together as much as possible. Try not to let one knee come in front because then you're losing that stretch. Pull the knee back in line with the hips, hips and knees, press the pelvis forward, pull the heel towards your glute and release, inhale, take it up, exhale, fold it over. You can keep your feet together Bend the knee one at a time.
Shifting a little weight forward into the balls of the feet. Lift the kneecaps, push the feet down, wrap the shoulder blades towards each other. Lift the shoulders towards your hips. Keep the legs straight, breathe. Deepen the breath in and out the nose. Pull. And inhale, press into the feet to come all the way up to stand. And exhale. Great job. Thanks for joining me.